When you're packing for a trip and you're trying to think of the things you want to bring on the plane with you, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming because maybe you want to be super productive and get some work done on the flight. Maybe you want to have a ton of entertainment with you, whether you're watching videos or listening to different audiobooks. Maybe you want to carry some stuff with you that you, you know, for journaling or you want to bring files from work. Or maybe you just want to bring with you some things that if you get stuck in a layover, if you want to be able to put some, you know, immerse yourself or fall asleep, put your headphones in and fall asleep without being disturbed. Or little small things like like medical kits, battery chargers, all those extra things, they can often add up and you end up schlepping around a massive backpack with you on these flights. Well, I'm a big fan of minimalist travel. I like being prepared and I like having all the things with me so I can be incredibly productive on flights, but I also like to pack as little as possible. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through how I use the Bellroy Venture six liter sling in conjunction with an iPad mini as my powerhouse for getting all that work done, how I pack the Bellroy and literally everything I'll bring with me on this flight for a three or four day work trip. Now I will have my roller carry on bag with me for my clothes, but this is all the electronics I'm going to be bringing with me for a four day trip. And I'm going to go through why I've picked all these things and how they fit in all in such a small bag. How's it going folks? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on this channel, I like to talk about technology, EDC, and anything that can help me live a happier, balanced, more productive life. So let's get started. So first of all, this Bellroy Venture 6 liter sling is new to me. I've not had this for a long time and I've really fallen in love with it. I've only had it for a couple of days. This is going to be the first work trip that I take it on. I've gone for the dark black version and I think it looks really classy. And going through some of the capabilities here, there's lots of things I like about it. So first and foremost, I think the strap is nice and sturdy. With a lot of these bags, they sometimes do thin straps and they kind of cut into you on your chest when you put it on. But for this Bellroy sling, I find that it sits nicely and that I'm able to wear comfortably across my chest like that. So a nice, not too big a size, quite small. Another thing about the straps that I like is they have this cool mechanism where if you have more things in it, it will allow you to extend out. But then when you have fewer things in it, because the way they attach the straps when you pull on it, it actually pulls the bag flatter. So if you do have a few things in it, it keeps it nice and tight to your chest, but it also has the ability to be able to expand out thanks to the thoughtful strap systems that they do. So I really like that about it. So opening up the bag, it's got two main zipper compartments. It's got this top one, which has got this waterproof um, membrane on it to stop water getting in if you're in the rain. And that's inside where you keep the majority of your stuff. In there, I'll, I'll be showing you how I pack it, is where I keep the majority of my things. But within there, there's a, a little pouch for a pen. There are passport sized pocket holders. There's a zipped pocket in the back here where you can put some secure things, which is big enough to put your passports in um, again. On the sides here are, are elasticated mesh areas where you can store things on these two ends of these pouches. And it also has a front zipper compartment here where you can put in, it's got a, a, a microfiber area where you can put your glasses in. So as a glasses wearer, I appreciate that. Then in the front pouch here, it's got again, two elasticated pouches on the front. It's got an open area and it also has a little lanyard with a hook on the end for storing your keys on it. So I'm gonna go through the things I pack in this bag and then I'm ultimately gonna pack this bag out. So let's talk about some of the things I carry with me first. So first and foremost, at the center of my productivity is the iPad mini. Now I love the iPad mini for, for many reasons, but its size is definitely one of the main reasons. With it, I carry the Apple Pencil. This is one that I've customized myself. I've just kind of colored it in. I have lots of these pencils. I think I've got four or five of them because I've got different um, iPads, but I always bring an Apple Pencil with me. I actually love creating notes on my iPad. Now on this iPad mini, I haven't actually put on one of the screen protectors that is that makes it feel more like paper. There's various different brands. I, I don't really care which one you use. I don't have it on at the moment. And as a result, I don't like writing on it as much, but you can be incredibly productive just with the iPad and the pencil. I always prefer to take notes myself with a pen and paper, and I'll talk about those in a little bit. But one of the ways I'm able to use this iPad and have it really be the center of my productivity is because I've got some really awesome peripherals that I want to go through with you. So here, it doesn't take up too much space. It's it's about, you know, a, a third or maybe half the size. It's Yeah, it's exactly half the size of the iPad mini. And here what you have is the Arctech keyboard. Now when I'm sitting in my seat on the airline, being able to pull out the iPad and put the Arctech mini in front of me here, it, there really is no compromise in terms of productivity. So having a full keyboard here, albeit it is a little bit smaller than usually than you'd use for keyboard, but I really like it. It makes me really productive. So if I'm taking some notes, so taking some notes here using the uh, A-R, is it A-R-T-E-C-K keyboard? 
you can see that it's a beautiful writer and, and it just makes me incredibly productive. It makes me, it turns my iPad mini effectively into a mini laptop for me. I just want to take a quick pause from the video to ask you to like and subscribe to this video if you're enjoying this content. I've got a very small channel and you liking this helps the algorithm find me. Okay, back to the content. Now, in addition to that, I do things with peripherals. So I'm going to bring with me my SanDisk. Now with this plugged in, it means I've got access to a lot more capabilities and it turns my iPad mini into a powerhouse. So between using the pencil, using this keyboard, I don't bring a peripheral mouse. I just don't think it's necessary for the iPad because it's a touchscreen. But having all these other things plugged into it makes this be very viable for me in terms of being a working computer. After that though, when I'm not using my keyboard, again, the iPad mini is fantastic because it's so light. You can use the Kindle app on your iPad, which makes you be able to read books. You can use the Audible app, or you can just watch videos, watch movies, download those in advance. And I really like having this iPad mini. I think it's the most productive and the best size iPad. I've got a bunch of them, the 11 inch, the 12.9 inch. I actually think this is the best iPad for bringing on flights with you. And as well, you can bring it with you in a very small travel sling, but still continue to be productive while on that flight. So with the iPad mini, I take that and I, let's, that can be the first thing I stick into the Bellroy. That goes into the main compartment and I leave the Apple Pencil on top. So I just slot that in there and that sits in. You can see there's a lot of room, it fits no problem. And I put the keyboard, the Arctic keyboard, right in front of it. And that's the foundation of me being productive on this light. I take my sand, this uh, device is four terabytes. I take that sand disc with me and I took that into one of those areas on the side that, that's got that elasticated pouch because I want to be able to put that in there along with the cable that goes with it. So cable to be able to plug it in is essential. So next I want to be able to solve for running out of battery or, or how am I going to uh, charge devices when I'm on the go. And for this I have the MISO power bank. This is a 6,000 milliamp hour power bank. And why have I picked this one? two main reasons. I guess three main reasons. One, it's size. 6,000 milliamp battery is enough to charge my phone one whole time. It's not going to do it several times, but it's enough to charge any single device or multiple devices 20 or 30 percent just to get you out of a pinch. And when you're carrying this on your chest, you want it to be as light as possible and small as possible. So for that reason, I picked this MISO. The second reason I picked it is, it has USB-C and USB-A. I'm still in a situation where I have kind of a mix of cables. I've mostly switched over to USB-C, but some of the cables I have, or if I'm borrowing an iPhone cable from somebody because I need it, having a USB-A option is always really handy. Also, if you're helping someone else out, if one of their devices is flat out and it's, a, it's an USB or a micro USB or even a mini USB, if they have the USB-A, that's usually the case, they can plug it in here and they can use my charger. The third reason I like this so much though, is because it comes with the cables inserted. So for such a small device, it already has a lightning connector for charging your iPhone, or if you switch to the iPhone 15 or you're on a, a Pixel, it's got USB-C. So having those two cables integral as part of it for such a small size, absolutely a game changer and no brainer for me. And I stick that into the back pouch, into one of those pockets to keep it safe, snug and secure. So if I am stuck, if there's a layover, if I need to charge my phone or if I'm going somewhere quickly and I wanna be able to just, just charge something while it's on my person, I'm covered to do that. After that, I want my travel documents. So these are really important to me. I'm a Irish, I'm obviously, a, well, some people say am I from my accent on these videos, I'm not sure am I Canadian or Swedish or whatever, because I've got this weird twang from living in America the last eight years, but I am actually an Irish citizen, but I also have American citizenship these days. Now, I always carry my passports in this. This is side by side. Um, this was something that was sent to me a while ago, and I'm, I, I, I should have done a review on it sooner because I do love it. Um, but this side by side unit, I have an Apple AirTag tracker in the back because this is my most important part of my EDC for this trip and I stick my passports in there. Now the nice thing about this is I can carry five passports because when I travel with my wife and kids I stick them in here too and in the front pouch I stick in other ID like driver's licenses for going to Ireland or if you have to carry your vaccine cards you, you used to have to carry them. There's a nice extra pouch for it. I like it also because it's got these two lanyard toggles on the side that you can just carry this yourself if you want to put it on um, if you want to attach a piece of uh, or, a, or a shoulder strap to it you can carry this on its own but I don't ever do that but I do keep it in here as a separate entity and it fits perfectly into that back zipping pouch. Now the thing I like about it is I can open the main zip from the Bellroy and open the zip for the passport holder and access those passports without taking that bag out. But if I do want to take the bag out for if for any reason I need to stow the Bellroy away, but I want to keep my passports on me, I can pull that separate pouch out and that's why I like it. After that, 
talking about taking notes or jotting down your thoughts when you're on a flight. And for that, I always go for the Tomoe River notebooks. Anyone who's watched any of these videos before knows I love these Tomo Tomoe River notebooks. They're, they're from Japan. This is an A6, it's a dot grid. I always go for dot grid. One of the reasons I love it is the thickness of the paper. It's beautiful for fountain pen writing. It never bleeds through, but it's super thin. So you can kind of see a faint outline of the writing on the previous page if you use a nice dark black, but it never bleeds through. This is a brand new notebook. I've not used it before and I was just took it out here to show you for this video. Now for this, I'm gonna pair it with, usually I carry either a fountain pen or one of the Uniball micro uh, roller ball pens. But for this one, I'm bringing the Olight O-Pen Mini. The reason I'm bringing this is because the Bellroy has a very short pen holder pouch here and this fits just perfectly inside it. It just tucks in beautifully. But this is also an incredibly nice little writer. I, when I bring my fountain pen or if I bring the Uniball with me, sometimes they bleed on the plane because of the cabin pressure. Whereas this is a rollerball pen and having a rollerball means I won't have to worry about that. The other thing about this pen is, even though it is very short, it actually sits nicely in my hand. So it's short, but I don't compromise in terms of it not reaching that part of my hand. Sometimes when your pen is too small, you end up in this awkward position, but this sits comfortably in the hand. It actually doesn't feel like a short pen. So I think Olight have done a good job of making a, a short pen that's really functional here. So that goes into its own pouch there, sits on that corner, and I keep my uh, notes, my notepad in there for, for taking notes on the flight. After that, I've got this little pouch that I created that's got a bunch of little stuff that's really specific to me. It's in a clear bag so that if the TSA want to see what is it, they can. There's no liquids in here, but it is some medicine. So it's ibuprofen, uh, acetaminophen. I've got some Zyrtec in there. I've got some, um, a very small little uh, Puracell pouch for hand sanitization if I want to, or if I want to clean the table in front of me if it's gross when I get on board. I've got some band-aids and I've got some paramedic gloves. And that's really everything I could need from a medic kit on a flight. Um, this is just to get me through cuts, scrapes, bruises, headaches, and hangovers. And basically it does, does, does that and does more than enough. I created about, I know I've probably got about five or six of these. I've got one in each of my jacket pockets. I stick them in all these bags and I just have them all the time because having small kids means you need these things a lot. Now I stick this one in here. This goes into this back pouch next to on the other side where I've got my charger, I keep my um, m medical stuff in there, easy to access straight away, just pull it out when I need it. The next one's an easy one is the glasses. These are not the glasses I'm bringing with me, I'll bring the ones that I'm actually wearing, but for the sake of packing purposes to show you how it goes, they fit in nicely into this pouch. I put the glass lens towards the microfiber so they don't get scratched and zip those back in, you wouldn't even know you had them in there. After that, I carry this with me. So this is great for if I'm using my phone to watch videos. Uh, I'm not sure where I got this, but it's called the Elevation Lab phone holder. So it, it's very simple, it clips out, it's got slatted grills on it, so you can decide if you want your phone to be more upright, you pull these out more, or if you want it to be more slanted back, you slip them back more. Super cheap product, but great for holding your phone up in front of you. It'll also work for my iPad. My iPad actually has a stand on it for holding it in position, but if you don't have one of those, this works on an iPad as well. And for the size of it, it's tiny, and I always bring that with me when I'm traveling, super useful. And that just goes into the front pouch there like that. In terms of tools, I bring two. So I bring, first of all, I bring this uh, Aurora A2 uh, light flashlight with me. It's incredibly bright for the size of it. It is, I, I mean, unreasonably bright. I love it. Um, I don't know how long the battery's gonna last and it's reasonably new to me, so I've not had a lot of chance of using it, but it is great. I do like bringing flashlights with me on these trips and that just clips into that pouch just like that. The second thing that I bring is the Victorinox Jet Setter. So this is a, pocket knife or whatever you want to call it, doesn't have a blade on it, something that's approved by TSA. So what I do with this here, it does have a scissors on it. It has a Phillips screwdriver, a wire stripper, and a bottle opener, as well as the usual things of a tweezers and a toothpick. Now I'm just generally uncomfortable not having some mini multi-tool with me on a three or four day trip like this. Everything I'm bringing is going to be hand luggage. So this will be the only multi-tool that I'll have with me, but it's probably more than enough to get me through the three day trip. What I do with this is I'm going to clip it on to this lanyard and when I'm going through TSA I will pull it out of the pocket so they can see it like that. They can clearly see what it is. They'll ask me what is it. I always get pulled aside to say what is it but I'm able to show them that it's TSA approved and hopefully it won't get taken off me. Let's find out. I've used it several times. I even have a video on that here on how I've tried it before. I usually get through but if not it's an $18 uh, pocket knife and I'm not afraid to lose it. I'd, I'd rather risk it. 
After that, I'm going to have my AirPods with me. They're usually going to be, you know, all these things will be in my pockets, but AirPods with me. But the place that I store those is inside in this small pouch over here, so they're easily accessible. I'll be bringing with me this Anchor Charger. Now, the thing I like about this Anchor Charger is it's got two USB-Cs with it. So when I get to the hotel, it'll be really useful for me. I actually have a better one of these where the prongs clip up, they push up for traveling, and it's a slightly smaller than this. But of course, I couldn't find it before doing this video. Uh, and I'm going to be leaving this weekend. So this is the one I'm bringing with me. But this has two IQ chargers in it. I can plug in two USB cables into it when I'm there. And that will be going in here as well to, to solve all my charging needs on the go. In addition, I'm going to bring one really long USB-C to USB charger for my iPad in case I do have a big layover or if I want to charge my device when I'm actually on the plane. And that one there goes into the front pouch next to the keys so that it's easily accessible. And last but not least is some chapstick. So if we're going on a flight, your lips dry out. It's probably not something I, I need an awful lot, but I'm bringing it with me nonetheless. And that goes into the front pouch into that section. So once you've stowed all those away, it closes nicely. This is not overpacked, as you can see. There's still a lot more room where I could pack it, but it, it makes a nice lightweight sling. And stick it on just so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is what it looks like when I put it on. It'll sit here on my chest like this, which I really like, or, you know, more likely it'll be around my back like that. And I honestly don't really feel like I have anything on right now. Really comfortable sling, really padded, nice and soft on the back very small and if you can reduce all your travel you know kind of achieve all your productivity goals all your entertainment goals have everything you need for in the case of a layover or a minor you know a minor setback on your trip getting it all into the Bellroy six liter venture sling is not a bad idea provided you can live with your iPad mini being your center of command for those three or four days when you get there. So what are some of the things you do when you want to be incredibly productive on a trip, you want to have all your entertainment and you want to be kind of ready for a minor layover? What, what electronics do you bring? What sling do you use? Tell me how you do it. Comments in the description below and I'll try out some of the stuff that you do too. Good luck.